Hey, hey, everyone, and welcome back to our usual chat that we have about the strategies in our portfolio that have performed the best over the last period. Now, as you know, we are definitely approaching Christmas, and so this will be the last appointment before a very short market break to enjoy the Christmas holidays to the fullest and also to be able to recover a little bit from all the hard work of, well, an entire year of trading. Um, but as always, before we start, I invite you to please leave us a like, uh, subscribe to our channel, and please go and click on that notification bell as well so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos in the new year. Hi, we are the Unger Academy, and we teach traders how to make money in the markets. Our founder, Andrea Unger, had been struggling with trading for years until he developed his automated trading method, which he used to become the only four-time world trading champion. Subscribe to our channel for free tips and tricks. Okay, so this week I want to talk to you about the DAX, a market that, as you know by now, is well-suited to different logics, uh, whether they be trend-following, uh, reversal, or bias. Now, in the specific case of this week, we're going to see two strategies that we could say are based on opposite rules. In fact, we have a reversal strategy and a trend-following strategy, both of which have brought benefits to our portfolio. So the first strategy I want to show you is the reversal strategy that enters the market at significant levels calculated on Bollinger Bands. So we'll buy at a downward breakout of the Bollinger Bands. So if the market is in a downtrend, we'll try to open a long position, as it was, uh, for example, in this case, and where we saw that the trade ends at take profit. Of course, uh, the opposite is true on the short side where we'll instead wait for a break of the upper Bollinger Band and then in counter trend, uh, so basically against the trend of the underlying market. Now, this strategy was coded in 2017, and I've got to say that over the last 365 trading days, it's been able to exploit the movements that the DAX has made pretty well. The annual period was positive, uh, as you can see, in 2021. Uh, all right, in this case, it's cut off, but uh, we can see that in 2022, uh, we had an average trade of even 1,500 euros, which is very high, especially considering that this is a strategy that was developed precisely at the end of 2016. And consequently, this whole period is absolutely out of sample. The number of trades that the strategy makes, it's not very important. We're on a 15-minute time frame. So there are many signals on these bands, uh, multiple signals. So it will be necessary to filter these entries so that they don't result in too many false signals during the out-of-sample period. Yeah, 35 trades in a year. So we're talking about yeah, approximately three trades a month. So it is a strategy that certainly doesn't work a lot, but it knows, let's say very precisely, where the DAX reversal levels will be. Right, so let's turn now to the next strategy. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it is the opposite strategy of the strategy we've just seen. Indeed, it also uses Bollinger Bands, uh, but in this case, in favor of the trend. Uh, so if there's a break of the lower Bollinger Bands, we'll place short market entries and orders. Well, on the other hand, if there's a break of the upper Bollinger Band, yeah, we'll place long orders. So this is a strategy that is opposite of the previous strategy. In a certain way, this strategy tries to identify the underlying trend and chase it a little bit, uh, confident that the trend will probably continue for a few more days. Now, the DAX is a market that I think is atypical of the basket of equity indexes because it's also, I mean, I don't want to say easy, but easier than other markets to go short in this market. And indeed, this very nice trade achieved on December 15th is testimony to that. The report on the strategy is also positive. As you can see, in this case, the average trade returns to more normal values. But it's also true that this strategy makes about twice as many trades as the previous strategy. Yeah, and you see, yeah, there we go. The results were satisfactory. Now, let's look at the overall average trade. We're at $470. And the equity line of the system is this. So in the last phase, we have a sharp increase. Well, in the first part, when the, uh, let's say, inverse strategy was doing very well, the strategy struggled a little bit more. You see, here's the thing. In the last few months, starting in September, these two strategies actually correlated 
and they work together in the same period. Now, these strategies are easy to code. Bollinger Bands are a very widely used indicator, especially in this market. And the DAX, as we've seen, lends itself well to reversal and trend-following logics. So, hey, go try it out as well. And uh, if there is anyone among you who is interested in the world of systematic trading, I recommend that you go and click on the link in the description of this video. Uh, we'll leave the description there at the bottom. Uh, you can go and watch a free presentation by Andrea Unger. You can go and get our best seller by just covering the shipping costs or even book a free call with a member of our team. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like. Please subscribe to our channel and go and click on the notification bell to stay updated on the release of all our new content. And with that, we thank you so much and we will see you soon again in our next video. Bye-bye for now.